Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial by me. Uh, Leonardo EMB says, thanks for the video. Could you explain me how can I add an image in a video for the f for a short period of time? Uh, he also says English is not my first is not my native language, so that explains that. All right, um, so let's uh, get right into this tutorial. Oops, just at my desk. All right. Um, I'm just going to name this hop because I don't really have any other name for it. Um, so what you're going to need for this video is an image. So I'm just going to drag this in from my desktop. And then a video, of course. Alright, double click that. That'll open that. Go over here to this film thing. Create a new edit. And this will bring up a timeline. Alright, so now you, you probably already have um, your clip, so I'm just going to add that in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Alright, so now you go right click over here, add tracks, set that to video, set this to B4V1, and that'll add another track. Alright, so now you go uh, open up your image that you want to go over this. Alright, select um, the parts of your image, I guess, and you can Oops. Make sure that these are off and then add it. Alright. Now you can determine you can say, oh I want this this long. Let's say I want the I want it I want it this long. So you can turn all these others all these other tracks off. Um go over here to um the pointing up button and hit that and it'll cut everything that is on this track out bef that is after this red marker alright so now I believe that's what he was asking for or she Boom. so but to go one one more step further in case you want she, he or she wants to do this you can double click on DVE I just went to effects down here open this go to videos DVEs and that'll that'll open that. All right, that'll bring up this little square dot over here. Right click, go to settings, and you can also make this image smaller. So and then you can hover your mouse over this position, and you can position it anywhere, and it'll only show up for this length amount of time right here. So you can also make this longer by dragging it out, hovering your mouse at the end, like so. And then um, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that you can uh, do. So say I don't want those black lines there, I can just crop those out. Oops, that's the bottom one. I want left. So there. So that actually looks a lot better. Um, there's a lot of little things in here. I really would encourage you to um, to. Uh, mess around with some of the stuff, find out what you like and what you don't like. There's um there's a time setting or there's the uh see through setting, I guess. Alright, so say let's start at this very beginning. I'm just gonna hit this. It's gonna go to the very beginning. Alright, make uh click on this little stopwatch type thing and if it's glowing then it's on and it just set a um marker a keyframe. Alright, so go over here or go to the next position and we want this we want it to show completely by this by this point. So now this is what happens. It phases Boom. in and phases out. Wait, what just happened? Okay, so in order to not Okay, apparently not to have it... Darn it. In order for it to not phase back out, you have to add another marker like that. And it'll automatically... Or depending on how you have it set up, it'll Boom. phase out by itself as well. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you thought it was too confusing hey leave that in the comments below and I'll try to make a newer video that is less confusing and
if it helped you, more importantly, leave that comment and tell everyone about this video. And thanks for watching, guys.